Politics of Guinea-Bissau Politics of Guinea-Bissau takes place in a framework of a semi-presidential representative democratic republic in transition, whereby the president is head of state and the prime minister is head of government, and of a multi-party system. Executive power is exercised by the government. Legislative power is vested in both the government and the National People's Assembly. Since 1994 the party system has been dominated by the Socialist African Independence Party of Guinea and Cape Verde and the Party for Social Renewal. The judiciary is independent of the executive and the legislature. Despite the democratic, constitutional framework, the military has exercised substantial power and interfered repeatedly in civilian leadership since multi-party elections were instituted in 1994. In the past 16 years, Guinea-Bissau has experienced two coups, a civil war, an attempted coup, and a presidential assassination by the military. Since the country's independence in 1974, no president has successfully served a full five-year term. In Guinea-Bissau in 1989, the ruling African Independence Party of Guinea and Cape Verde, PAGEC, under the direction of President Joao Bernardo Nino Vieira began to outline a political liberalization program which the People's National Assembly approved in 1991. Reforms that paved the way for multi-party democracy included the repeal of Articles of the Constitution, which had enshrined the leading role of the PAGEC. Laws were ratified to allow the formation of other political parties, a free press, and independent trade unions with the right to strike. Guinea-Bissau's first multi-party elections for president and parliament were held in 1994. Following the 1998-99 civil war, presidential and legislative elections were again held, bringing opposition leader Kumba Yala and his party for social renewal to power. Yala was ousted in a bloodless coup in September 2003 and Henrique Rosa was sworn in as president. Former President Vieira was once again elected as president in July 2005. The government of Prime Minister Carlos Gomez Jr. was elected in March 2004 inches a free and fair election round, but was replaced by the government of Prime Minister Aristides Gomez which took office already in November 2005. Aristides Gomez lost a no-confidence vote and submitted his resignation in March 2007. Marcinho Ndifakabi was proposed as Prime Minister by a coalition composed of the PAGEC, the Social Renewal Party, PRS, and the United Social Democratic Party. PUSD. On April 9, it was announced that President Joao Bernardo Vieira had rejected the choice of Cabi, but the coalition said that they maintained him as their choice and later on the same day, Vieira appointed Cabi as the new prime minister. He took office on April 13, and his government, composed of 20 ministers, including eight from the PAGEC, eight from the PRS, and two from the PUST, was named on April 17. President Vieira was reported killed on March 2, 2009 by soldiers as retaliation for the killing of the head of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Tegnawe, who was killed the previous day. Prior to the 2008 election, a decision to change the electoral date and extend the parliamentary mandate resulted in major controversy when the Assembly deputies snubbed the president and chose to extend their mandate. After the Supreme Court annulled that law, President Vieira dissolved the Assembly thus allowing the Standing Committee to continue working, and appointed a new government composed of loyalists. Rear Admiral Bubo Nachudo tried to organize a coup on August 7, 2008, but was preempted and arrested, however, he managed to escape the country. The attempted coup added to instability ahead of parliamentary elections. Gambia subsequently arrested Bubo Nachudo. He later returned to Guinea-Bissau disguised as a fisherman and took refuge at a UN compound. Although the UN agreed to surrender him to the government, he continued to reside in the compound. As a result of his return security in the country was tightened, contributing to uncertainty and instability. On April 1, 2010, soldiers entered UN offices and left with Bubo Nachudo. The same day, soldiers entered Prime Minister Carlos Gomez Jr.'s residence and held him on the premises. Simultaneously, 40 military officers, including Zamora and Duda, head of Guinea-Bissau's armed forces, were being held at an army base. Hundreds of the PM supporters demanded his release. In response, the deputy army chief, Antonio Njai, said, if the people continue to go out in Tati streets to show their support for Carlos Gomez Jr., then I will kill Carlos Gomez Jr., or I will send someone to kill him. The following day the PM was taken to meet with the president where he said, I will not resign because I was democratically elected. I consider what happened on Thursday as an incident. The situation is now stable. 
I can assure you that institutions will return to their normal functions. The UN Secretary General and other international powers condemn the move, while government ministers issued a statement saying members of government expressed their support and their attachment to the Prime Minister and firmly condemn the use of force as a means to resolve problems. Tensions seemingly calmed with President Sana saying the coup attempt was a confusion between soldiers that reached the government, and the UN Secretary General spoke about the PM's detention and subsequent release. Nevertheless, while the members of the cabinet and the international community condemned the attempted coup and talked about the PM's release, reports still indicated that renegade soldiers had the PM under guard. After Army Chief of Staff General Antonio Inchai was reported to have been arrested under the orders of Navy Chief Rear Admiral Jose Americo Bubo Nachudo, his troops freed him while Prime Minister Carlos Gomez Jr. went to seek asylum at the Angolan Embassy. Inchai then said that his naval counterpart had been arrested. The events occurred while President Malamba Kaisana had been in Paris, France for medical care. On April 12, 2012 the military took over the central district of the capital. On 16th of April, military leaders and a coalition of political parties announced the formation of a transitional national council, under international pressure. The president is elected by popular vote for a five-year term. The prime minister is appointed by the president after consultation with party leaders in the legislature. The National People's Assembly, has 102 members, elected for a four-year term in multi-member constituencies. The Supreme Court, consists of nine justices who are appointed by the President and serve at his pleasure, final court of appeals in criminal and civil case. There are regional courts, one in each of nine regions, first court of appeals for sectoral court decisions, here all felony cases and civil cases valued at over $1,000 and 24 sectoral courts. Judges are not necessarily trained lawyers, hear civil cases under $1,000 and misdemeanor criminal cases. With regard to the legal profession, although the Bar Association of Guinea-Bissau, or Dem dos Advogados de Guinea-Bissau, was formed in 1991, there is no clear indication as to how certain demographic groups, such as women, have fared in the legal field. Guinea-Bissau is divided in nine regions, singular, semicolon Bafata, Biombo, Bissau, Balama, Kashu, Gabu, Oyo, Quinara, Tambali. BR note, Balama may have been renamed Balama slash by Jagos. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.